Once a farmer in a village who would go to forest every day to cut woods and then sell it in the market his income was very low one day when he was cutting woods in a forest he saw a monk who was meditating he went near to the monk and sat in front of him after some times when the monk opened his eyes the woodcutter asked him oh wise man i am very poor please give me some solution for my problem monk replied go forward woodcutter believed in the words of the monk and started walking forward after some times he reached a sandalwood forest woodcutter became very happy now he started selling sandalwood in the market and soon he became rich one day in days of happiness he thought monk told me to go ahead and i found forest of sandalwood i must go to him once again maybe he can guide me to something more precious thinking this woodcutter went to the forest to meet the monk the monk was sitting immersed in meditation after some times when he opened his eyes the woodcutter asked him he said oh wise one by your grace i found sandalwood forest please give me some more advice the monk again replied go forward the woodcutter went ahead with the advice of the monk going a little further he found a gold mine now woodcutter became wealthier after getting gold from mines now he became rich person he was living his life happily after some days again woodcutter thought about monk and went to forest to see him monk was sitting peacefully in meditation he again asked the same question to the monk and monk again replied move forward the woodcutter went ahead with the advice of the monk now he found diamonds rubies and pearls he became very rich and prosperous he was living life in all the luxuries but one day woodcutter thought monk knew so much he could have been wealthy but still he didn't use any of these precious things why woodcutter couldn't think of any reason and at last he decided to visit monk once again so he went to the forest to meet him again when he met monk he said oh wise one you told me the address of wealth and prosperity but i have a question please tell me why don't you become rich by having these things yourself at this monk replied what you are saying is correct but i have gone further further than diamonds and rubies going forward i have found such a pleasure that compared to which these diamond and rubies feels equal to mud and clay i have found that special thing woodcutter got curious and asked what's that please tell me also monk smiled and replied i have found inner happiness which i have found through meditation and in comparison to inner happiness even the biggest pleasures of the world becomes insignificant hearing this the woodcutter fell at the feet of the monk and said how foolish person i am you have a wealth of inner treasure and i kept asking you for pebbles kindly tell me how can i find this inner happiness i don't know how to meditate please guide me the monk said it is very easy to meditate just sit down comfortably and start observing what is going on inside your mind if there is an experience don't hold on to it let it come and go keep witnessing your thoughts until your thoughts calm down completely when there is no experience no thoughts then you will be in the state of meditation then there will be neither the sight nor the seeing then there will be only a zero and in that void of zero the lamp of realization burns on hearing this from the monk the woodcutter understood that the true happiness is not in the outer wealth and comforts but 
true happiness is within us we just need to find it if we see in our life we will find that we spend our whole life in earning outside wealth but we forget how much treasure lies inside us we never try to turn inward and find it we spend our whole life in search of happiness but we do not know that the ocean of happiness is waving inside us meditation is a mean by which we can find this treasure of happiness within us therefore we all should take out some time every day to practice meditation this will not happen all at once for this you will have to practice a little bit every day day by day and then there will come a time when you will not have to try to meditate but meditation will start to happen spontaneously you just need to keep patience if you understood the message well please drop a comment thanks for watching stay blessed